All right, guys. I've had some, you know, inquiries about, you know, meeting up with Kyle or the Bachman track. So today I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this uh, off of the track real quick. There we go. Can't never remember how to do it. Okay. So we need to go ahead and get that took off of there. So we're going to go ahead and just snip that right on off with some snippers here. And it went a flying. Get that cleaned up a little bit more if we can. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and install this over onto the other side here. Believe me, it's real easy to do it, but I always get it confused. All right. Put the other side while we're at it. Get rid of this little piece right here too. All right, so now we can just go ahead and join the two tracks together. Of course, there's only one joiner on there, you know, so you'd probably want to go ahead and get another track joiner, stick it in there. And it's kind of loose, but as you can see, they do meet up perfectly. There's no worries there. Of course, that joiner's a little bit loose and definitely need another joiner over here. And if you're soldering the tracks, that's great. If not, then you could probably just go ahead and squeeze this guy together a little bit. And get that to be a little bit tighter of a fit. There. That's a lot better. Not going to slide off. So there you go. There's the Kato track and the Bachman track all met up. Again, all you have to do to the Bachman one is just go ahead and cut off those two pieces right here. Just like I did on this side. Except I didn't cut this little tab. And cut that little tab off too otherwise it's just gonna get in the way of you once you got them off just put on the joiners just like this one's already got one on there and just line it up and then boom you're all set so as you can see it does meet up no problem that way if you don't want to go ahead and sell off your Bachman track on eBay like I did and just replace it with Cotto, you don't have to, but I just got rid of all the Bachman because I prefer the Cotto. But there you go. I just kept this piece here because I still use the Bachman controller, so I'm just going to use this as a test track for when I go ahead and uh, install some decoders into my uh, DC locals, turn them into DC. C. But there you go. I just wanted to show you that it is that easy to go ahead and get that done. No problem at all. All right, guys, remember, it ain't a mountain if you don't climb it.